down. Okay. Let's let's watch it, you know. Do what we gotta do. Did you start it? Hello everybody. It's Tay's Podcast. Man, what's up people? How's it going, DJ Mayonnaise? You know, it's been so long on the podcast, too. I ain't been doing shit really with my life. What you been up to? That sounds so <laughs> depressing. Oh, it's been accurate. like, God, it's been like, what, three months? You know what I like, though? I like how we have no theme. There is no theme to this podcast. I, I love that. You I don't, never You don't shoot in the same situation. You don't shoot in the same, like, type of environment. We've done outside podcasts. We've done, like, did you ever post that one? Mm-hmm. When we were outside? No, not yet. God, I wonder what that was. I don't, I don't think we did the, uh, what's it called? We didn't do the video. For we didn't know we didn't do video. You know, well, we yeah, should you do a video. We should. No, I think that'd be agree. crazy to do video outside. Here's the lead. This shit's late. Good. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like that idea of not having like a structured theme. Because I feel like everybody has a structured theme. Well, that's how you find your niche, and that's the only problem. Your niche is not a structured theme? No, I have no niche. Well, so that's why I kind of don't, like... I have to just... For me to find, like, a audience, because there's no niche to this, and normally to find audiences, you have niches. Not entirely. Not so, entirely. Like, You're absolutely right. But when it comes to podcast, is it though? most people listen to niche podcasts. I, I guess Most I people don't. don't listen to podcasts... About two niggas kicking it. I do. That's all I listen to. Like, uh, shout out to the basement yard. Hey. I don't know if you guys hey, know. Hey, he showed me like two episodes Dude, of them. They're great. Y'all? Some fucking good ass niggas. Those dudes are too legit. Dude, I like them. They're fucking. But that's what I'm saying. It's just. It's usually two guys just talking. Like, it has. They don't have a theme. Like, sometimes they'll, like, cover trending topics. Like, what's going on? Like. Which we will want to do. We're going to do that. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we're going to talk about Will Smith slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. Even though we're like a couple months late on that, or a couple weeks late on that. I have to say, the fact that like he went to, uh, I think, India? He went to another country. Once his wife like publicly like got distant from him. Anyway. When after, so this is after the slap? After the slap. So when she said something like, I don't need someone to protect me or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When her team pressed... We'll release that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Team press release that. No, I. Uh, she, he got so cut. Like honestly, it's I like, remember. Do you remember being in a relationship and when you were trying to like? No, yep. yep right yep, before yep, it was yep, about to end, yep. you were like, "I got to do whatever I can look, to make it work." Look, everybody's been in that type of relationship. Like, I think it's just Will stays in that. Why? Well, no, because he he would rather. Be with somebody who makes him miserable than be alone. But and I know, but that's and that's how we feel. But like we were broke, so we didn't have any other choice. Like at least he has money. So you gotta say that we would have still been down bad with money. Well, no. What I'm saying is that like if me and you were rich, I don't think we would have been in those positions of like. I feel like we would have. I feel like we still. I feel like we would have gotten worse actually. Because I turned to liquor. And you just numbed it by being like, it's not there. Yeah. So if you had more money, you could actually just numb longer. And if I had more money... But, like... I would have just drank and probably did more drugs. <laughs> like, legit. But if I had more money, I think I would have had more shit to do. I feel like we would have had the better options of girls. You're so worried about it? <laughs> I am. It is fine. I was like, because that's just one little push. <laughs> Yeah, we need like a big For a big dog, that's one little push. He's not, he's a 60 pound dog. He's not that big. Compared to normal dogs I see being walked around? Well, hold on, that's also because you live with two fucking uh, yeah, I'm gonna see him be walking chimichangas, around. bro. I'm gonna see him be walking around. Don't even. Again, don't even like Labradors or like. He just lets him out the back. Golden Retrievers, you know? I like Golden Retrievers. Yeah. Golden Retrievers are about his size. Big ones. I guess. Damn, bro, what is this invasive privacy? Right? We're calling this episode the Couch Cast. How you like our fan? The couch Cast? Yeah. You mean the casting couch? I'm trying to at least see if we could get it monetized on YouTube. It's not. <laughs> We're smoking weed on camera. Yeah, that's. you can still get monetized for that. Okay. Yeah. I watch YouTubers who do that. But I thought they don't get monetized. I fucking wish. That's a couple of I'm gonna be fucking nice. But the reason why 
I going back to the topic we started with, uh, we don't have a niche. Oh, it's <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't want to have to stay in a spot. Well, that's what I'm saying is that like there are podcasts out there that don't have niches. Like, mm-hmm. and they're the thing. The reason why people watch them is usually the personality. So that's what you're trying to do. Like the Joe Rogan podcast. You're trying to get people to watch you for your personality, not for like the shit you cover. Yeah, yeah. I want people to like what I do because it's me doing it, yeah. not because what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what, yeah. That's, so. cause, cause what, that's what I've noticed. This is when you talk about doing like uh, internet shit. When you talk about like doing videos, or, it's usually shit that I'm like, I don't know who would watch that. Exactly. Except for watching it for you, your personality. Cause you're like, if I want to do like a, I want to just do a, what did you say? You want to do a, I want to do that. You want to do like vlog, but you were like, I wanted a vlog where it's like my random day, like where I'm doing basically nothing. Yeah. Like, and that's like not what people who watch vlogs watch normally. Like people who watch normally, they're watching some fucking rich multi-millionaire fucking fly around in a private jet. I know. That's what that's what vlogs are now. That's literally what vlogs are. a lot of channels got so fucking rich. It, because they upload constantly. Did you ever watch a... Because I'm sure your ex made you watch some vlogging shit. Because I'm sure she watched some vlogging YouTube channels. Um, you no. Know, mostly what she wanted me to watch was Mikey Chan. What the fuck is Mikey Chan? He's like this dude who like tries different foods. And like he goes, oh, travels oh, the oh, world, oh. goes to so many different places. Are you talking about? Uh, well, no, man, man, that's Buzzfeed. Hold on. And he just tries food and was, tells you about. It. He's like, so if y'all were wondering about how McDonald's in Japan is, these are the things they have. Dude, McDonald's in Japan is crazy. Nigga, they got fried chicken. Like, it blows my like, mind. Why like, does Japan get the best McDonald's? I don't yeah, know. I was like, nigga, what? They're I get, we get a McRib once in a while. Don't say <laughs> they that get like, fried chicken. Don't say it like it's a good thing. And like rice. You go, what? Don't say it like it's a good thing. Mm-mm. The McRib is fucking disgusting. I've never tried it. They're, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's it's cheap pork. Like, what do you think it's going to taste McDonald's has left my diet completely. Oh, yeah, I haven't had McDonald's. Like, Which Taco Bell's the only unhealthy like, shit that I'm like, I fucking love this. I agree. That's the only shit I eat. Quesadillas. Too. Mm. Chicken quesadilla. No, the quesarito is one of my favorites. Mm. That's all right. Do you like the quesarito? Not as much as the quesadilla. <sighs> really? I like the crunch wrap more than both of those. The breakfast I like the, wrap. Um, I haven't the had the breakfast one. at Taco Bell makes me want to wake up early. Because of how early they fucking... Because it's early. Like, you have to get there. It's like, I think it's like 9 to 11, and then boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I never wake up at the time. Because I, I looked it up. I was like, did, when they first came out with the breakfast, I tried it. Dude, it was the best shit ever. And I miss it so much, but I never wake up at that time to get it. But yeah, I thought about um, having uh, topics, though. Because. <laughs> yeah, do you have any topics? Because I think I had. Oh, we're, so one of the topics I was going to bring up, because me and you talked about this in the car, was our top five rappers of all time. Yeah. Have you solidified your list? Like, I have. I have T-Pain is not number one, though. No. Thank God. I don't know why T-Pain. I'm I, still that, up there. I'm, look, I'm going to be honest with you. When you said T-Pain is your number one, I lost a lot of respect for you. <laughs> like, a lot. A lot of respect just <laughs> dropped out. I'm like, bro, T-Pain, like, I understand, like, he's had some really good songs, especially when I was in middle school, like... But the best of all time, or not even all, we shouldn't say all time. No, the best five rappers that I'm listening to now. Yeah, that are That's currently. That's how I was going to yeah, change Yes, that are currently, because like, we can say like Tupac is probably up there for the best of all time, but I like, I listen to no Tupac songs anymore. At all. I just still listen to Dear Mama. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I, like that's on my constant playlist. Yeah. His songs are just like, they're very like, And um, it's very preachy, and I'm just like, no, only uh, Dear Mama is like uh, an emotional one for me. That's what I'm saying. It's very uh, like, that's what preachy. Like change. Yeah, no, I don't know. Changes. He's mostly about. That shit to me was very fucking bitches. And I love that song. But it's so good. Like, Tupac is mostly about fucking bitches. Yeah, so is other songs. But what's your top five? Well, um, that I listen to now and love. Yeah. Deathly. Yeah. 
So Drake's actually number one. I figured that's the one that when when I first thought about, it, I was like, it has to be Drake. That's like that's, the, that's my. Dude. You have a sweater of his album. Oh, dude, and like that was your favorite sweater. If I could be in the OVO sweatshop, I would. I'd work in it, nigga. OVO sweatshop. Like I'd make lyrics for Drake. Bro. I'm like, hey, I got trash lyrics. You want them? That's not. <laughs> that's what I probably do. A lot of SoundCloud rappers probably work in the OVO sweatshop. Not hey, and the fact that Drake is giving them money and, and hey, nigga, I I love Drake's music. Can you say that? All I imagine is a gigantic building with the words OVO sweatshop on the top, <laughs> so everyone knows. <laughs> and people just. No? Yeah. You used to, like, no? especially back in the day, like, you were, like, listening to his songs all the fucking time. I still do. I still listen to his, like, when I listen to his song, I don't listen to a song. A song pops up on a playlist, mm -hmm. and then I put on the album. Really? You listen yeah, to Yeah, and then I just, up? like, put it on shuffle and just go straight through an album. I'm trying to think of, like, his album right now. But that's, like, uh, Take Care is my favorite. And then there's nothing was the same, which is a fucking dope ass album that I should have given more listens to when I was like younger. Younger, because I'm like I would have not put myself through that bullshit. If you're reading this, if you're reading this, it's too. Don't tell me you don't like that. No, it's just not up there with my favorites of his from him. That's up there. Like I liked his uh, what was his first? Not the first album, but the first one that like he released to like the public. It wasn't a mixtape. Um of Drake's it was October something. Oh, um because I, I can see the album cover now. Yeah, and it's like this like Fuck, what was that thing? It was a really fucking good album. That's all that I know. Um yeah, go to Drake and then his playlist and um uh, yeah, I agree. Cause, like Yeah, that like first album though. Uh, that was when I was like, you know what? I like rap more than R&B. What is the distinction between rap and R&B for you? R&B is, from what I understood of it at first, was rhythm and blues. And then I understood that that is love songs. Um, No, just go to his, uh, you don't have that, that album right there. So Far Gone. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And October is very young. And October. Yep, so far gone then. Yeah. So far gone. I've never heard that. One of my most favorite Drake albums. Yeah, but like, what's the distinction between rap and R&B for you? Uh, so for me, rap, I feel like, is more of lyrical content and everything like that. R&B is more of the way it's supposed to make you feel, which rap is mixtured that into it. That's very hard. So it's like, but, like, I believe that they're just blending genres of music now. Yeah. Nowadays, That's people true. are just... Blending okay, shit. fucking mixed country and uh, rap with that one song uh, that everyone was fucking listening to for the longest time. Yeah. It's just, it becomes like, I don't know, for me, it's always been that way a little bit. Like, it's hard. To, I guess that's his part. And sure. R&B now is more of like... Because R&B back then was like Neo... Um, God, dude. Uh, I'm happy you said rappers. Because of, like, song artists... Neo is my number or one. Akon was another one that was back then, early two thousands. Was the shit. I never really liked a whole lot of his shit. Like no, it was I didn't just really listen to like like when he came out with bangers like number one singles. Yeah. Oh, I was listening. I, was on it. I never listened to an album of his. Yeah, that's I've what only I'm ever listened to like. I've actually albums. listened to like Drake's albums, and then it would be J Cole was my second. <laughs> okay, now because now I have to bring my respects a little bit back towards you because I think you have J Cole at like your fourth. Mm, J. Cole's you had, younger. You had Kanye, K. Dot. Yeah, because Kanye West is next. Yeah, but after J. Cole. So you're saying Kanye is your three? Yeah. Okay. Kanye is my three because I, I most of the time put on a J. Cole song. Okay, because. Who was that your four? Four? It has to be. It's not Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> what? It's not I Kendrick I do. I really like his songs. It's but not Kendrick Lamar. For me? Like. Bro, like. How is. I'm gonna have to say Toby Lou, yeah. Because his name keeps popping up. Toby Lou? Yeah, it's this rapper. I haven't showed you him. No, I don't um, know who Toby Lou. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But I guess that, that is top it is five. For me. That is top five rappers you're listening to right now, but I'm not like, I guess they even more general. Like, did you almost always been listening to? Or if it like, I feel like you have to like have listened to him for like a couple years. I have. Toby Lou? Yeah. I've listened to him since we lived with Kyle and Heidi. So like four years? Five years? 
after four or five years. It's just a, so you put him in your top five. Nigga, he's always in my playlist. Mm -hmm. You don't understand this. Like, oh, like no, no. However, I'm feeling, I put on him. I'm good. Interesting. I'm fucking good, yeah, man. I, I don't even time. need to cry. I have I'm to good. To some songs of him, man, I'm and then Kendrick Lamar because he helps me get through. Right so T Pain is off your top five. Top five, absolutely. So he did fall off. He's he was number there. one though. Yeah, no. He went from number one to. Like, I was like mad in love with his music, man. I just heard you out said of my dead? system. It was like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, no, I heard out of my system like that day. Oh, so you were just like. And that yeah. one, that one just gets me in my feels every time. You're just like in your feels, man. It punches me in the heart. See, that's not bad. Top five. I'm like, I just there's a couple that I'm just like, I don't know. So like for me. Yeah, I fucking love Kanye West music more than like. A lot of a lot of the music I listen to now. Which is yeah. Like I really like Kanye West music. I'm just indifferent from Kanye West music. Part of it's, it is hey. because of Kanye West. Like a big part of it is my bias against Kanye West as a person. I think he's a fucking horrible human being. Can you listen to R. Kelly? Uh, well, I don't well, different. I don't listen to R. Kelly because I just don't like his music at all. Like, I used ah, to. Okay. Back in the day, I used to, like, what, uh, Trapped in the Closet? <laughs> I used to listen to that right? shit all the time. Like, we had the movie. Like, the 45-minute mm -hmm. movie where, the, like, you got to watch the whole thing. Too. You know, I've actually only seen that thing once, and I've seen Weird Al's Trapped in the Closet version so many more times than I've ever listened to an R. Kelly song. Weird Al? It was, like, he was, like, this... He, I feel like he was, like, the internet formed into a person. So At I thought, that time. remember when Bo Burnham was becoming popular yeah. and he just discovered, he was like, this is what the internet is. Yeah. That like, y'all, we're just going to go through phases of liking and disliking people. And literally Weird Al found his spot and was like, uh, it was like Gundam style. It was like no, the it's... phases, it was just weird how it caught on and everyone was in. Oh yeah. Early, like early. Like Weird Al was an everyone thing. Everyone knew about it. And That's everyone crazy. knew about Weird Al. And then there was like other internet stations that yeah, they did just spread. Like well, everybody like, knew about him. I'd have to say in my general area, everybody knew about Weird Al. And we didn't grow up in the same general area, so I can't really talk about it. But yeah, because it was kind of... Because I do remember when Gundam Style came out. And like, I didn't even watch the video. But I do know, you know I heard the song. Style? No, nigga, I never cared. I'm not gonna lie? <laughs> like, legit, no, I never I'm cared. not gonna lie. That video is fine. <laughs> All I know is that I've seen that one move that... That's all I know he did. You hit that shit, you're fucking in, you go, okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, like, oh shit. Well, I gotta give that a try now. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Dude. that video after this. Dude, you have to watch that video. Is like, that video is a classic. And then well, when, they did, like, gets, when they did YouTube Rewind and shit, it was kind of the same way. Yep, like, never, never you watched them. YouTube Rewind? It was really good. I think the first one I tried to watch, I saw Will Smith in it, and I was like, oh, celebrities on YouTube now? Wait, hold on. Fuck! That's the first one you've watched? Was like, 20, tried to 2021 watch. 2021 or 2020, something like that. When Will Smith was like, ha ha! Yeah, and he was like, right there in it, and I was like, dude, celebrities have taken yeah. over YouTube? That was, that's the worst. That's the worst, oh. worst one. Yeah, I've seen videos about how that's the worst That's one. the most disliked one of all time. I think that's the most disliked uh -huh. video. People were going to the Justin Bieber baby video, which is the current most disliked video, Undisliking it and then disliking the YouTube rewind just to make sure YouTube rewind got to the number one spot. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's how bad that one was. People were so oh, petty. Yeah. They did remove the dislike button too, not too long after that. Yeah, <laughs> holy shit, dude. I that I think, oh man, that fucking it was sort of good. It used to be basically like. The YouTube company, which was very kind of smaller at the time. Hold on, wait. Before you get into this, who's your top five? Oh, <laughs> we just, oh wait, nigga, we're not getting past that. Who's your top we five? Get in, well, I don't even remember how we got into that tangent. Um, top five. So j number one is J Cole. Nice, nice. Actually, I shouldn't say that because, like I said, Kendrick Lamar is actually going for. So he's my number two. So like, uh, some at some point I might release a picture with this video. It's gonna be his two vinyl albums of the J. Cole's yeah. that he has. So yeah, yeah, for anyone at home or just listening to, I have the off season album, and I have this four sales drive, uh -huh. which are my current two favorite albums of his. Actually, I'm doing a video too and everything like that. Well, 
for the people just listening to this, yeah, there true. are people who constantly listen. Thank you so fucking it's much. So, I love y'all. So There's five. Isn't it weird? I love them. Isn't it so <laughs> weird though? Like, it. I'd have to say it makes me feel like. There's just people out there that are like. Yeah, but like that's like, what I'm saying. It's I just, I love the applause of people just think, outside. Just because like, for the most part, when we do this, it's based on like ones like you. But it's not even like we're recording half the time. Like we have to like make effort to like talk to the people because like we we're not like we're talking without thinking about like people listening. Yes, you're right. That's what I'm saying. You're right? absolutely. We're talking oh, like nobody's wait, there. You don't think that people are listening? Well, no, you don't. Like actively think that's about it I, when you're talking. Well, that's also why I said some really fucked up shit. <sighs> but like, I just I I think the most natural type of conversation is the one where you think nobody is listening. Mm-hmm. That's when you're going to be the right. most organic. Hello. I think he likes weed. Um, <laughs> I think he does. Um, yeah, it's just when you're going to be your most organic. And my number three uh, is going to probably be. It's close. It's close between Drake and Kanye right now. That's my three and four. That's a good three. My three and four is Drake and Kanye. I'm just trying to think of a little order. I wonder if we can bump up this some more. Kanye. Who's your fifth then? Dude, you'll see. Kanye is up there just for like. When graduation. Graduation. Itself? Of when that came out, that perfect timing of graduation for us, it was like. It was literally meant to be. Like, that's, that fucking song was just like perfect. That's why T Pain is my sixth. But Drake has like we listen to him a lot. I mean, I still listen to him. I'm bummed. Well, I Drake think like his the music, emotional music shit. Music is so like, much of, like Marvin's room. Like that. I was, still put that, that, that on. I know. Think about that like, hill. That's what I'm saying. Is like we used to listen to him so fucking much that like it still holds that like place in my heart. Like that. I gotta say it's three Kanye, four Drake, and then five is like in a mix. Wait, three. Kanye, four Drake? Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure. I, his, uh, cause that no, one, five. Run Away, oh. dude. Stop. I want to play that on piano. That's one of my goals, to play that. Oh, on that'd be great, dude. I'll sing that. But that's fucking, what is called? Dude, I seen the- The whole song. I seen the chords to it. No, that's hard. Dude, I was like, that's amazing. But that's my goal. My you know goal what? I've been thinking about what to put on a Patreon. I actually might, might try to do that. What? Our projects we do, I would want to put on Patreon. Mm-hmm. So like, if people want to pay like a dollar, they could just check out these projects that we're gonna try to get better at as people. Oh, okay, interesting. Like, it's almost like getting to know or like going through the process with us. Because if you're like learning how to play the piano and you're like showing people, oh yeah, yeah, I was thinking how like you're things. learning to do. I was it. thinking about like doing streams of just playing the piano mm-hmm. and just trying to like show them like that. This is my progress because I'm like. I'm watching this YouTube video that's like amazing. It's like showing you exactly how to like get you use the keyboard. Cause that's all I'm doing right now is just playing the same. Exactly. And then you just shout out that nigga inside of his like your videos and shit. And what if he like hits you up and he's like, hey dude, I gave me free lessons. That'd be fucking dope. You see what I'm saying? I know. I get Connection. that. Connection. <laughs> uh, my number five is it's another toss up, but I'm gonna give it to Childish Gambino. Oh. And it was a toss up. That's between, a great one. Man. It's a toss up between Childish Gambino and Chance. Those were the two that I, and the only I didn't I get think, to Chance till later. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Like you know, when he first came out, you know, I had that? no fucking you know, clue. Acid Rap is another album that, no, like I'm not gonna buy many albums. Acid Rap is up there for one of the first albums. No, I'm, Acid Rap. If I find a vinyl of it, I'm buying it. Right I'm, that's there. what I'm saying. I, that's one of the vinyls I want. Is Acid Rap. But no, I didn't get until him until like I was out of high school. Oh, man. I was in high school singing I didn't Jews, know came out I was like in high the school. Jews? Dude, I didn't even know that. Really? Yeah, I had no idea when I was in high school. He was not in any of the conversations of the people I was around. I guess yeah, because he was. So the thing about it for me, he was underground. He was always my like. I have like one or two or three songs from him in my playlist of two hundred songs. So mm-hmm. like J Cole would take up like you know sixty, seventy, to eighty. And then, like, you know, Dre, Kanye, they would kind of fill in some more. And then there was, like, some random artist. And then Chance the Rapper was one of those random artists that was just in there. Mm-hmm. Like, with a grouped up with, like, some other random kind of artists that I had listened to. And so, like, I had always known about his songs, and I always really liked them. I just didn't know, like, a lot of his songs. I wasn't listening to, like, you know, 15, 16 of his songs. I was just listening to, like, you know, four or five at the time. Okay. But, like, the older I get, actually, the more I enjoy some of his songs. Dude, same drugs. 
That's another one I'm learning on the piano. That one? That's you a, don't do the same. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I want to play that one on the piano. We don't do the, we don't do the same, bro. Oh my <laughs> god, that's a good ass See, song. See, right that's what there. I'm saying. So I, I, have like, a hit, I have a minor six. Okay, that is a great one right there. I like it. Yeah, that's one of the, I, they're, they, they're very similar, which is funny because they actually have a couple songs together and I love all of them. Oh my god. Because they're vibe together, perfect. Like they, dude, they, like, they're perfect together. They are just awesome. They're, You're right. Oh, man, I want to listen to some music that there's right now <laughs> because of that. that. That's a really good thing to have though. What? That type of um, want. Like they make music that once you start talking about it, you're like, oh, that you want to listen to it. Yeah, yeah, it's just so because like, like not many people have songs or music like that. They we talk about and we're just like, oh man, I really want to listen. Kind of. There's a lot, especially from the old days. Like when I say Akon, back in your head goes, I kind of want to listen to Akon song, like one of his songs. And then what we, song? Uh, fuck. What is the song? Because I know a few songs like by name. Fuck. Because of Smack That, so oh, no. No. Oh, oh, Smack That, was Mr. Lonely. Mr. Lonely. <laughs> like, I listen to his, like, I like party listen. songs and... Oh, I, I listen to his really sad songs. Those are the ones I know about him. No, and That's I why was... I don't listen to him anymore. But I used to listen to the sad songs a lot. Oh. I can't remember the fucking song it was called, though. Do you listen to sad songs still like that? No. Okay. I stopped listening to, like, sad songs when it's completely... Oh. Don't worry, that was a perfectly okay answer. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying. Like, I just like, I used to all the time. Like, Drake no, me too. was on my playlist all the time. Akon, I'm trying to remember the fucking song. It was one where he's like, I tried so hard, can't seem to get away from misery. That's all. Because I tried so hard. Yeah. That, isn't that a depressing ass song? <laughs> like, ain't my fault, because I. That's a, that's a very it is a very emotional song you know yeah no it's a very emotional song I have to say I like it though I really like that song that's what I'm saying but like I really like those emotional songs like they make me feel better than happy songs do which I think I know something's broken but <laughs> I actually it's weird that you say that because I don't really like emotional songs I really enjoy them. So like, like they don't like, get me in my feelings. I think that's they just I, make me like. I think that's why J Cole and Kendrick are like my top two because mm, they're more like mm, thought provoking. Like Juice World's up there too, just because I fucking can. Do you know how many bitches I fuck to Juice? Rest in peace, Juice. But like, I've actually he's gotten me so much pussy. Thank you, Juice. I've actually didn't really get into Juice at all. That's cool. I, have, I know. <laughs> I just never like. And it's sad because like you know he's on. Like, it is, dude. He was so young. Okay. Good debate. Best white rapper. <laughs> hey. Stop it. Hey. Stop. You scared me. Um. Stop white it. rapper? Yeah. Best white rapper. The reason why I say that is because, like. No, no. I'm thinking Mac Miller. A lot. Yeah. I think it's Mac Miller, too. But, like, a lot of people have Eminem in their top. Just for the vibes. Yeah. Because Mac Miller's lyrics are simple and I understand them and I can rap to them easily and feel exactly how that would be great. Senior Skip Day. Song. Oh my God, dude, I didn't listen to any of those old songs. I listened to that. When I showed you that song when we were doing, I think when we were doing Senior Skip Day. We yeah. didn't skip together. Yeah, we did. You no, we didn't. Maybe it wasn't. I skip with. I skip like, nigga, we didn't really kick it like that in high school. Yeah, we did. No, we kicked it one time outside with Max. Remember that? That was like the one time we, no, were, we, we smoked. No, we used to. We talking about? We used to take walks together all the time. The we're senior year. After? The senior year. Yeah, I remember taking walks together and everything like that. Every single day in, for high school. That was our senior year. That's what we used to do all the time. No, I, take I, nice I romantic definitely... walks in the walks of the night. <laughs> Dude, but. Dude, I was. Man. You don't remember that? No, I absolutely remember those. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't so remember the smoking. Though. Are we? Ha- we like, I remember us buying some weed from Jacob sometimes, but when we like first no, time we, we really I smoked we did together, sm- we didn't smoke much together. I'm yeah, that's what I mean. Oh no, I was like, talking about that. I was talking about senior skip day. Oh yeah, no, I, I was like, we smoked I don't a couple of that day. We did. No, you were like the main times I did smoke. Like when I was smoking, only what you did. 
<laughs> so like when we did that uh, outside with Max and who no, the fuck else was no, there? Remember we used to go buy weed from the skate park all the fucking time because we get because remember they used to have them like they used to have the skateboard with a little scale on it and you used to put exactly how much was on the scale. You don't remember buying because we, I remember specifically because the first time we went over there to buy some, it was me, you, fucking first name I don't care, Max and Lily. No, Lily wasn't there. Max and some other white dude. <coughs> I was like, I don't remember if we're... You were there. We went to the skate park. No, no, I remember going to the skate park a lot. Fucking skate like, I, I went to the skate park a lot. I just did, never really, like... I guess I probably tried to stay away from the situation, probably. I think you did, actually. I think, because I remember, because I do remember we always did it by a big-ass tree that kind of, like, blocked the view of it. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay, then you I might would have been just on the be other doing, side of the tree doing other like, shit, like... <laughs> Man, these fucking white people. <laughs> like, you're about to give me a trouble. Yeah, I think that's exactly how it was. Because I avoided trouble back then. Like, back in the day, I avoided trouble. Now I confront it. But, like, back in the day, I avoided you all trouble. trouble. I didn't want a problem with nobody. I was like, I'm already a nigga. Please leave me the fuck alone. You shut away. You got two. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I was looking around for a lighter. <laughs> I was. I was looking around and being like, Oh, these are good joints. No way it exists. I need to get some more of these. Oh. Some more of these, yeah. If anyone... Oh, I guess that'd be not a bad thing to say, too. Well, we're just looking... You're talking about shout out weed? Well, we're just looking... Some, no, let's go. Yeah, we're smoking some dopey does. So if you want to... You could show it off in the camera. If you want to go to... Uh, your, if you want to go to your local herbery... Um, buy some dosey does. So. Yeah, what is the uh, company of the pack called? Oh, oh it, it just says Tacoma. It's only Tacoma. This is... Fucking local. Tacoma Grown. Hey, let's go. Agro or Argro? I don't know, bro. Okay. <laughs> they can see it. But uh, no, that's just Some good. of y'all can it's see it. Good. I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's good. I just basically, I walked up there and I was just like, what is the strongest shit you have? What is the because strongest like, shit? This is the thing. Okay? Like, you know, I walk in bars and do that. Really? Yeah, I feel like, what's the strongest shit? What's your choice of drink and why? Uh, Long Island because it's the most alcohol. Okay, a hard shot. <laughs> Hennessy then, because I like the way it goes down my throat. Why? It goes down so smooth. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not yours. I've seen other people. Dude, like it is shit. so fucking strong. Every oh time God, I drink it, so it good. feels like someone's punching me in the throat. Like, I like I like tequila. So when I was when I why because you remember they, we're saying the why is too. I like tequila. Because one, I think it's the smoothest one for me. And two, it makes me feel so like. Okay. Like, extra. Like, I feel that. It does bedazzle everything. Yeah. Everything's just like. Bedazzled. It's yeah. crazy. You're like. It's, and you feel so good, and everything's just so like. It's kind of right below cocaine. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've never taken cocaine. So. I know, but tequila is kind of like lesser cocaine. Interesting. <laughs> I don't like that segment, but yeah. Because it's just. I just. I don't know. I also what like mean? I feel like drugs are relatable to alcohol. Yeah, some drugs. Like certain alcohol. Yeah, you're right. I've tried some crazy acid drugs. Acid or shrooms? Oh, fucking shrooms all the way, but I've done more acid in my life. Shrooms is literally like the me drug. I used to do acid weekly. Because acid is like extra. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, when I get high on something, I'm just trying to relax. All I want to do is relax. Shrooms helps you relax. You're right, you're right. Like, as long as you give in to the shrooms, you relax. Yeah, you have to give in. There's some times that I've like, I like. When you uh, fight it? Oh man, it feels so bad. So there's two times. So one time, uh, we, the first time I took it, we were at her house, uh, Hippie, and I took shrooms there, and we sat down and started watching a Blue October concert. Shout out to Blue October, they're a rock band. Bad. Oh yeah, I gotta uh, check them out. This nigga keeps talking about them. They're not that. I don't know. They're not something I li I don't listen to, but like oh, okay. I can listen to. Where I'm like, it's still enjoyable, but it's not my type of music. Okay. Like rock and roll is not early. It's like soft rock. Basically. Is it like Mumford and Sons? What the fuck that is? Sure. Um, <laughs> That's like folk. But it was nice. Anyway, so we were we were sitting down there, and she has these fucking lamps. They have like these little dangly things on. And everything was kind of dark, but they were just here next to her TV. Okay. And so for a split second, my brain was like, those are people. And I, had, and I was like, I started getting scared, like actually scared. And then I was just like, dude, 
they're not, they're lamps, calm the fuck down. And I like gave up and just like gave it. Cause the the next old. time was when we went to the, we went to the Earth Game concert. Oh, still mad I missed that. Bro, first of all, amazing. Like, the fucking concert was amazing. And the place that we went to, this was the issue, is we popped some fucking shrooms before we went in. The fucking floor was one of those floors that kind of trampolines. <laughs> Oh, that like, is so it's a, weird. It's a wood floor. But no, it has it's like, like it it's flexible. Yes, it's flexible, so you can jump up and down and can feel it. That is the scariest shit that you will ever have. Because as soon as I started like hitting, I was like, dude, the fucking ground is like going to cave in. Like, guarantee it's going to cave in. And then music started playing. So I was like, okay. I know it's like, we're upstairs. If I die, no, I literally <laughs> went, if I die, we were on the third floor. <laughs> I literally oh, went, upstairs. when the music started playing, I was like, I'm just gonna enjoy this. If I die in this whole four days, I die. I die. I don't care. There like, you go. That's how you I'm party. Like, because if this four caves in, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm dead. You're right. So I might as well enjoy the moments before I die. <laughs> That's that is literally the best way to enjoy literally a concert. what I said. So I was like, so I started getting into the concert, and then like about midway through, I think Earth Game like, pops on to like what. No, it was before Earth Game. But it was like these two people, the first two people were good. The next performer was like, eh, but he was like drunk as fuck. Hey. But it was like midway through his performance, the group that I was with, there was just drama. Like there was drama because people were like pushing and trying to shove to get closer to the stage, obviously. And like they were pushing around me, but I was just like, whatever, I don't care. No. Like it doesn't bother you. You want to get close? Let's all get close. We're all going to hug. Right? Yeah. yeah. But they were getting mad and they were literally about to fight this chick. And I remember I was like looking at them, and then I like looked back to the stage and was just like, "It's just them." Like, yeah. It's just it's now I've disconnected. <laughs> I literally felt myself disconnect from them. It was just like it's just me and whoever's on stage. I'm gonna just model model. It's just us. Hey. And then yeah, because then when Earth Game came on, I literally was just like jumping so much I jumped like ten more feet forward. Like over the course of the songs, and I would like look down and I was like right next to the gate because I just kept jumping forward. Yeah, there you go. And my group was just like way behind. Oh, you were just completely out I of was that. completely on my own. Ah, that's the love. And you know what? I love every minute of it. That's good. It was good. You can take this one. Ah, bitch, that's good. When the fuck did that just tangent run off the road? What did it come from? Yeah. Because I know we were talking about top five. But, oh, White Robber, Mac Miller. Yeah. Okay, now I'm starting to connect the dots. <laughs> Isn't it weird how conversations go sometimes? Uh, yeah, but you were talking about shrooms. Yeah, because I'm talking about shrooms. Yeah, shrooms versus acid, that's what. Yeah, okay, that's that's how what you asked. Yeah. Uh, before that, we were talking about liquor. And, um, and which ones we like. And then you were explaining why you liked yours. So go on about your story about fucking heaven <laughs> scene. Wait, you sure? <laughs> yeah, I want to hear about it. Because you wanted to talk about Hennessy. And then you were well, about to talk about a story. Uh, yeah, I... When I was working at that Portland Seafood Company place, you know, when we weren't, like, talking a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. It was all me. I was in a relationship, and that was, was not a friendly one. It was literally both of us. We both just stopped talking. Yeah. Wait, but, when was that? Um, was it, so it was after we moved out of Ronnie's? Yes, because we were both in relationships. It was definitely So it was that right time. after we moved out of yeah. I moved at my mom's. Back, I moved back to my mom, and you moved... I think you moved around a couple places, didn't you? I after you moved out of, um, after we moved out of fucking Robbie's. Robbie's, where did we go? Where did you go? That's a good question. <laughs> where did I go? I think I went to the trap house. What trap house? Your mom's trap house? No, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, there was a whole other trap house I lived at. Um, that a trap house? <laughs> I forgot. I yeah, didn't tell you about that. You didn't talk during this whole year. I forgot about that. Yeah, I. that's when I met Emily because you didn't meet Emily, remember? I thought you met Emily at work. I did. Yeah. And I never met Emily, but I heard you talk about her. Yeah, because I still worked with her. No, I remember you guys having sex under the bridge. Hey. You told stop, me that. Stop, I remember when you said stop, that. Stop. I was, she is I was, so lovely. I was ah. cheering on this relationship oh. so much because of how much I fucking hated Jamie. Yeah, no, I get that. I, get that. I was cheering on your guys' relationship, like, and I still miss her, and I never met her. Dude, I still miss her. But, you know, that's something fast. Um, I remember talking about that. Uh, it was a 
Hennessy it was story. my Hennessy story. Yeah. And, um, well, that is because of work as well. Yeah. Um, when I was working there, mm-hmm. uh, the bartender was trying to get with me. That happens a lot with you, yeah. Thank you. Um, you I don't know, just drunk girls, I guess, like you. Hey. They're like, yeah, <laughs> right. he's, he's, he's like, you know, black enough for me. <laughs> you're, some girls have said that. Uh, you're black enough? Yeah, yeah, they were like, you're black enough. I'm like, I thought I was too dark, nigga. Okay, <laughs> let's stop in there. I'll hop in there as a light skin. I bit my bottom so up and shit. So what happened when the bartender was fucking flirting with you? Well, no, she tried to get, she was just wanting to get me drunk a lot. And, um. Oh, and that's what she tried to get you drunk on was Hennessy? Well, yeah, because I'm a black guy, well, so she on. was like. Did you ask for Hennessy? Nope. Did just, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I was like, are you doing this because I'm black? And I was like, she was like, yep. I love it. Give me watermelon. You like the time. honesty, too. <laughs> you do like the honesty. Yeah, no, and, uh, we were cool. We were homies, I thought. <laughs> We were fucking home because she wouldn't like talk about shit and everything like that. And I don't really open up, so I just let her open up. And you know. she went wild with all this information. Isn't and that, like, I loved it because she just kept giving me drinks that, while telling the story. And I got so off work at like, let's say I got off work at eight. Yeah. I left work at two. But and she was right? giving me drinks. The whole time. Wasted, nigga. Like, remember when I had a problem drinking? Yeah, is this why you had a problem Yeah. Oh my god. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to another bar. Because when we we, we we moved out of Robbie's and uh, whatever that other dude's name was, when we moved out of them, like, you weren't really drinking that much. Like, Mm -hmm. we had, like, just started trying drinks because of Robbie giving us Yeah, right? And then, like, all of a sudden, when we moved into uh, together with Kyle and Heidi's, you were, like, bottles on pop of bottles. Like, your whole dresser just had bottles lined up. And they, fucking new place. ones kept coming. They kept coming. And you just kept pushing them all into, like, the corners where, like, they were, like, barely <laughs> off. Like, you had no room on your dresser. And then I had to start throwing them away. Bottles. And then and that just, accumulation built up so quick. You would just drink constantly. Mm-hmm. Wow, you really did have a problem. <laughs> And nigga, I'm only 26. <laughs> and I'm probable. Bro, I, I feel so fucked up because I didn't even like realize that. Yeah, no, because I I'm didn't saying, act like an alcoholic. You didn't act like an alcoholic. Like, I never saw, you were just always drunk. But you never <laughs> like acted like, I need a drink, I need a drink. Yeah, no. Or like, you never came home and like threw up all over the place. You never like passed out and almost died. Nope. Like, you always just came home, fell asleep, woke up, went to work. I was what you did for that whole entire time. When you came home drunk, you just came home drunk, fell asleep, or yeah. jerked off. I was <laughs> that one time. <laughs> and and just... ever since that one time, I was like, "Should I let my dick go for him?" No, <laughs> no, no. For you anyone, that, me out, for anyone that doesn't know the story, You're we were living sure at Kyle High. <laughs> we were living. I think we were 22, 23. About yeah. And we were living at Kyle High. You know, because twenty two came out by Taylor Swift, and I was listening to that. <laughs> so we were feeling twenty two. So we were twenty two, and about twenty two, and we lived kind of like college dorm style. We and did. We had uh, we shared a room. Shared a room, two separate beds. Okay. Also, our own TVs, like our own little individual areas that we just happened to like split the room halfway. And it worked out. So well. it worked out. And then it was kind of the worst thing because like the door right here. Oh no! So the door's right here, right and in front of his, right in front of the <coughs> say, the right side of the room. Yeah. So like the door, like when you walk in the door, my bed's right here. His bed's around the corner, right here. His TV's right here. Like right in front of my TV. He's right here. <laughs> and so as I come in, well, I I I always try to like knock to make sure I know you're like not doing something because I'm just like. So we I do knocked. share a room, so it makes sense. I knocked. So, like, I sit there and go, oh. <laughs> and I text you, saying, nothing. I knock. <laughs> nothing. I walk back out in the living room, like, just sit there and wait, and just go, oh, fuck, is he? God damn, dude, he's really, 
Ugh. And then I just like, I text them, nothing. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna walk. So I knock, I open slowly, and then as I open the door, he's right there. And he's laying back like this, with his dick right here on his stomach, just like, <laughs> passed out asleep. <laughs> with a horn on his TV. Kai <laughs> just go, dude. Dude. And then you wake up and go, huh? I'm like, your dick's out. <laughs> and I close the door. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, dude. You don't know how much I laughed at that at work the next day. <laughs> I was like, bro. As in, I just wanted to go my whole life without seeing you. I've always wanted to ask you about it. <laughs> Farther than I ever thought of it. Without seeing it. No, we... Hey, yeah, we went actually a long time. We got close a couple times. Like, there's... I mean, when you live together with someone, like, it's just... When know. you share a room with someone... When you share a literal You're room. bound to see their dick. Like, yeah, but like... It's I'm crazy. Like, I'm just not one of those people that's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna look at your dick. Because, like, there's some people that are, like, in football... Nice dick, that dude. are, like, you know, straight... <laughs> That like, will, like the like, quotes will like touch your dick, huh? You don't have that. Well, they used to do that all the time in the football locker room. No, 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 no. They they tried to touch my titty, and no, I was no, like, nigga, no, I'm no. already. They would never touch yours. Oh, oh, yours. oh! If you're talking about the other niggas, yes, yeah, no, all, all of them were touch. They were questionable it's because like, they were fucking mad bitches, but they always were more fascinated with each other's dicks. Than anything else. Very fascinating. <laughs> fascinating is a very interesting term to use there, but nigga, they were like, dude, what happened? Like, I'm noticing you bending a little differently. You, you fucking Jessica? And then it's, <laughs> I was like, how does he know who the girl is by the way this nigga's dick bent? And then he's like, how'd you know? I'm surprised you took a shower with them. I didn't. I never did. I thought you did. I thought nope, you took a shower. No. Nope, no. Nope. The worst part is, though, I had to go back to class and shit after just all that. Oh, I would go back to class, sweaty. Oh, absolutely. I would put in as it's much, I would put in as much Axe as much <laughs> theater as Because Axe back in the day was the shit. The fucking dark, t- what is it? The little, the brown one. Oh, that one was so good. Dude. Which one was that? Like I'm chocolate gonna, or something? I was actually going to go to the store and buy some more of that. Absolutely not. Axe is disgusting, though. No, no, not the spray. For the yeah, body wash. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. no, I think I used to get uh, the Dark Temptation, but it was a different scent, I thought. Everyone had this fucking Axe bottle because it was no, the no. best fucking smell. Yeah, it was a chocolate one. Chocolate something. No, something that was it. It was, was Dark it Temptation and it was chocolate. That's all. And it was Axe. And it was fucking it amazing. It was fucking amazing. Like, like you, everyone, everyone right used it. And so you would just spray it down yourself and then I would just go to class. Because I'm like, I'm not about to fucking walk, take a shower with you. Yeah, no. I, I was like... He was like, hey, hey, nigga, quit grabbing my ass. I was like, nope, can't do it. <laughs> You're not about to be touching me when I'm right. trying to wash my cheeks. I think, like, that's, like, a good YouTube series to do is stories of a, stories of a high school football player. Because, like, dude, locker room stories are fucking wild. Based on true events. Based on, because we could tell a whole fucking, like, ten-part series. Because dudes were trying to be porn stars in high school, and I didn't realize I should have tried to do that back in high school. Was, right now, trying to be a porn star. You know how dedicated that bitch gotta be. Yeah, they were. They did take a lot of. It. They were just that was a lot, and they weren't just doing porn stars though. They were just also like some of them. It was recording. Like, this. It was also like borderline orgies half the time. Yeah, like they were just like yeah, porn we star just, shit. We were at this person's house, and we we're all just like fucking like in the same room, and just like <laughs> laughing at each other, yeah. high fiving and shit. Like, I did it. I, 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 oh, let's switch, 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 switch. <laughs> <They're> like. <laughs> It's just like, where do you guys go? Like, no, and I've only been to like a few house parties like that, and they either get sexual quickly or dangerous quickly. Dangerous, and so that's why dangerous I always tried to very stay very away from them. Yeah, but it sucks. Like when I was a child, my mom would like throw parties, so I I got to experience a oh, whole yeah, lot you of got to experience as a different. Kid. Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, got those the, drugs, you, got, you got like the hood. The police kicking hood doors party. and shit, and they're yeah. like, Cause if you a child or a small The high school parties were more like. Chill. They were chill. More chill, and they weren't as like. Aggressive. We're, we're doing like hardcore drugs, and we're doing like, you know, drinking constantly, and like. Fucking 
mid party, mid like, party like, while people are just dancing around. Like, yes, like yeah, no, those are the type those of are parties. a different type of party. You were ah, like. I mean, you live. Yeah, you did. You did live that life. I lived, and uh, that's crazy that I lived that life, and then like I tried to get out of it, and then that bartender wanted to hook up, and that made me back into that life. <laughs> you go to like a lot of those weird, especially like it all depends on a lot of it depends on your environment, the type of environment you were in, like influenced what you were doing so much. Like, Very much. You were not like when you were with your fucking uh, when I think it was, yeah, you were with your mom right in the one bedroom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When you were like, I got super toxic. You got really toxic. Because <laughs> really I had to like, start telling people to shut like, the fuck up. That was peak toxicity. Like mid talking, mid talking to me, I was like, "Shut the fuck up, nigga. What are you talking about?" And I, I had to be like <laughs> on that, like, nigga. If we're gonna do something, do something. Dude, your face was described your whole entire like. It was crazy. Your entire self at that at that moment, that like face you were making, like that was like, your whole like. It was just like this, like anyone says something, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might just punch you. Like, just because you said something, I might, just, I might just punch you. Yeah, and it was like, crazy. If, I mean, if at this is the wrong time, I might just hit you. Like, just be prepared. Like, that was your person. Like, that was how you were. Like, it was just like... <laughs> you were absolutely right. It was just ready. Like... Go. But, that's, <laughs> but it, like I said, it was that environment you were in. Like, it was, because it, it made me more into a savage. And I didn't realize how much I enjoyed being a savage. Because it can be fun. It's absolutely hilarious. It's so There's funny. no way it's not. Because my humor is Yo, the way it is. Me being the so savage funny. is so fucking hilarious. And it's fucked up because doing a lot of that shit is very fucked up. But it's so funny at the same time. Like, if, if you don't like really. Like, not caring about people's feelings. I feel like I you you can't do that, really. You can't, like, kind of care about people's feelings. Because. A okay. lot of them will prevent you from doing things, and yeah. I don't believe that is a good feeling you're having for me. Like, why would you get mad just because I'm not around you? What's wrong? Like, yeah, well, you had that. <laughs> that was your first, like... And I was like, no, 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 that's not, that's not even... No, dude, but I'm saying you had it. crazy thing is, though, I wasn't even talking about Jamie. I know, but you had it really bad at that first time. That's why. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty bad. Yeah, that was that was like the worst. But that was the like, biggest issue with that was the fact that she like she had no part. Like a lot of these people that like that you were fucking around with this time, you didn't care about it at all. I, I, like you had hard. no reason to care about them. It's very hard. So they were just like in, in your words, they were dog water. <laughs> Absolute dog water. <laughs> Which was so fucked up. <laughs> it's just like dog. Which was so fucked up. But I know I think I know almost all of them. I feel like I know. There's a lot of what we do. Because we were talking There's about a lot it. I kept from you because I was ashamed about them as a person. Wait, who? What, like people? Mm-hmm. Like who? I don't understand how you like you never met the bartender. Was she worse? No, she wasn't worse. She was just with a dude. Well, I don't really care. <laughs> I know that, but like... Like... She was like actively with him. Like she'd be like kissing on him like, in like the front room. Mm-hmm. And then like I could see them kissing. And as she'd leave that... Come to the back. Hand me a drink. I'm at work right now. Hand me a drink. Oh, Take no, me you further into the back and then, like, kiss on me. Yeah, you did tell me about this one. I actually remember. Nigga. I do remember you telling me about her because she would fucking flirt with you on. Is this the one that, like, kept putting her ass on you, basically, all the time? And you'd be like, let's get away from it? No, that was a whole different one. Okay, I'll be Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with me? But, like. Yeah, I, I was, like, getting niggas bitches. <laughs> like, you were. Mad getting niggas. Most, like, most of your I had my was... own girl, and I was getting niggas bitches. Were you getting Jamie at this time? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> I, yeah, I just remember the one time. Oh, God. She doesn't watch this, does she? Who? Jamie. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> mad love for you. Because you still. remember what I. You taught me a lot of lessons. But I was the one that convinced you. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. I absolutely told, like... I don't know if I've told that on the podcast yet, but, what? like, the dare. Did I dare you? Yeah, that was it. You were like, hey, nigga, I dare you to go on a second day with her. And that's no, we started I'm not talking about with Jamie. Oh, which one? No, I'm talking about the reason why you cheated. <laughs> oh, no, no. I was already cheating before that, but no, I no, did no, have no. a reason. When you first you. cheated, I remember. Because I was the one that was like, yeah. 
No, what? Because you asked me. You were like, dude, I got this, like, this girl and I want to fuck, but like, should I cheat? And I was just like, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I, was like, like, I don't fucking care. Yeah, go ahead. Like, it's like, I hate it because I hated her. I fucking hated her. So I was the one that kind of like convinced you to like cheat. You I asked like how you get convinced, but I, yeah, you're right. No, this I, when, you, when I said yes, you were like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was already in, but like, you know. Yeah, if I said no, you'd have been like, I'm still gonna. I'll tell you about it. I'm still gonna. <laughs> but I was just like, the fact that I was just like, yeah, just go. Like, push you towards it. But, yeah, I remember that specifically. And that was when you started cheating. And then you started cheating, like, a lot more. Well, because I was like... Do you regret cheating? No, not at all. Do you regret... If you take away sex from me in a relationship... Would you feel bad about cheating? What? Like, if you had if like, she wants to take think, away sex from the relationship as a punishment for me, yeah, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> There's no. Okay, well, that's on the record now. Permanently. Cool. <laughs> hey, any females out there? <laughs> you take away sex from take, him? Like, he's going to cheat. Because I'm not going to take away, like, if I was to provide her food, I wouldn't just take that away. Well, okay, food is a necessity and sex is not. Oh, well, sex is a necessity for me. Yeah, that's the thing. I just don't think people... I just... Okay, don't get with me. Like, that's I, a great... I know, I know. That is sex. absolutely okay. Yeah, that's fine. Like, if I'm you don't want to fuck me, I don't care. Like... Yeah, I mean, that's fair. It's just like... I don't okay. Know. If you just, do want to fuck me, don't want to stop so in the on. middle if of it, us being... Okay. Like, if we're in a relationship and we sleep in the same bed no, hold on. every night... Why would you just? Why would you just break up with him? No, that's my first option. Yeah, you would break up with him first. Yeah, that's not cheating. No, no. Cheating. Would I feel bad for cheating? Like if I was with a girl. Oh, okay, that's a different. And question. then like. Because when you were with Jamie, you decided to cheat so I'd break up. But yes. in the future, you would break up and just not cheat. Yes. But like cheating, you wouldn't really care because like you. Know, I'm you already know. done with the relationship. Yeah, you were already done. Like, like bitch, what am I gonna try to fix? You don't want to fuck me. Bye. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't talk to you about my feelings. You don't want to fuck me. Why? <laughs> so I just feel like that's the type of savagery you need in a relationship and actually get equality from it. Maybe. Because, like, if she's going to have requirements of you, well, what yeah, the you fuck can... are your requirements? I just, there's certain requirements. What, talk to me? There's certain requirements that I think are harder requirements and they're softer. What? How is fucking me hard? No, no, I'm saying as in harder and softer as in like, there's some that are like deal breakers. Fucking is mine. Don't fucking me. is a deal breaker. Deal breaker. I won't be with a bitch if she doesn't want to fuck me. Interesting. Why? Because I feel like half of the whole relationship is us physically wanting each other. Okay. That's fair. I mean, it's, it's fair. I'm not saying it's bad. Like, half of it is us mentally wanting each other, and the other half is physically wanting so when you each see other. So, when you see them not wanting to have sex with you, it makes you think that they don't want you. Well, they're just doing that. Yeah. They can want me later. I absolutely understand that. But, like, you'd break up with them if they stop having sex. If I want sex, and they're like, hey, no, I don't want it tonight. I'm like, okay. Night, second night. If they consistently do it for like weeks, like I that, don't want to have sex with you. The second night, mm -hmm. I'm already thinking. <laughs> 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 Unless she's like gives me a reason. Hey, no. That okay. Changes shit. I, I know too. And so here's some of the perspectives for people that are like probably like confused. Uh, the perspective is his ex used to use sex as like a weapon, and it was a very toxic thing where like. She would use sex as like a reward and a punishment. Yeah. Where she would go like weeks, and I think months, at some points, just not, like, just saying no. I don't want to have sex. No, I don't want to have sex. No, I don't want to have sex. No, like for months. And then after, so that, I, I think, think a year. That of like that? I think is like just permanently like left a scar on you. Where if you ever what? heard someone do it two days in a row, it would have triggered you to be like. No, no, it's two d two days in a row with no reason. Well, I yeah, feel like she, it's bullshit. Because she didn't have a really, she didn't have a reason. No, she didn't. She'd sleep in the same bed with me. She's not on a fuck. I mean, I get it. I understand your perspective. But <laughs> I just, uh, hey, no, I'm just... That's... Yeah, that's your, that's your hardcore boundary. Or your, yeah, because I enjoy fucking. Don't we? That's most of the reason why I Sex is just a really good thing. Like, if I'm going to stay really with the girl, sex is most of the reason. 
Sex is a really fun activity. Like, I don't talk to them. That's crazy. I don't. I never open up with one of my feelings. Really? Like, you should. No. You have the most more time. Yeah. Fuck it. I joke about feelings now. <laughs> well, this has been a weird episode of The Casting Couch. <laughs> hey, watch that episode two of The Casting Couch. Oh, my God. Hey doggo, that's always 